Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a custom property template with Elementor. I will show how to create the custom property template version 3 from our main demo. We showcase the custom template in our demo. You can find it under property template version 3. This is the template that I will show how to create in this video. The first step is to create the page for the custom property template. So I will go to pages, add new, I will add the page title, I will select the property page template, I will disable the page title, advanced search, header and sidebar. I will publish the page. Since I will create the custom template with Elementor, I will click Edit with Elementor and now I will start adding the elements that I want to show in the property page. I will start by adding the property header section. I will search for the widget. I will add it in the template with drag and drop. This widget will display property categories, property title, address, price, a social share, favorite button and the print button. For this widget you will have options to change title margin bottom value, buttons margin top value and categories margin top value. You will also be able to change typography and change colors. I will enable navigator to have better access to each section and now I will change settings for this section to make it fit the page better. I will select the section and from advanced I will change the margin top value. Next I will select the column. I will also go to the advanced and here I will add a value for the padding button. I am done with the header section. Next I will create an overview section. For that I will add the property page overview section widget. This is the widget. I will add it as a new section. You will have these default fields, but you will have the option to change them. You have the option to hide the section title. I will enable this option. You can add a new section title. You have the option to hide the updated on field. I will leave it and now I will start adding my own fields. I will leave the default fields and next I will add a new one that I will use to display property categories. From field I will select property category and I will add a custom icon. I will select one from font awesome but you will also have the option to upload an SVG icon. This is the icon. With drag and drop I will move this element to be the first in the overview section. Next I will add property action categories. I will add a new field. I will select property action category. I will also add a custom icon. I will change this field to be second in overview section. Instead of adding new items you can also edit existing items. I will show an example as well. I will replace garage with bedroom field. Here I will select bedroom. I will change the label and label for plural. I will leave the theme options icon. I will switch position with bathroom and now I will add the last element which will be the energy class. I will select the field. I will add labels and I will select a custom icon. I will change this field position. I am done adding fields. Now I will change the section settings. I will add the detail section with value. I will select the section. I will go to advanced and here I will add a value for the margin button. For the overview section widget in style section you will have the option to change box shadow, to change spaces and size. Here I will add a border radius value. Also you can change typography. I will make some adjustments. The title is not used in my case. 
but you can change font family and other settings and for the property labels i will change the font family i will change the font weight and you will be able to make other settings you will also be able to change colors you can change text color section title color and background color i am done with this section as well for the next section i will add a gallery I will use property masonry gallery type 2. I will add it with drag and drop. I will set the item height value. I will add a border radius value. You will have the option to hide the status label. The gallery section is done as well. Next I will add a new section with two columns. First I will make settings for this column. In advanced I will add a margin top value. I will first add the elements for the first column. First I will add the property page description section. This is the widget. I will add it with drag and drop. You will have the option to hide the title. From style section you can change settings for spaces and sizes. Here I will add a value for border radius. From typography you can change the section font options. For property title I will change the font family. I will change the font weight. Next for the content I will also change the font family and change the font weight. You will also have the option to change colors. I will make some changes for the column settings. I will change the column width and from advanced I will change the padding values. Going further, in this column I will also add the property details section. I am done with the description section. Next I will add the property page details section. This is the widget that I will use. I will add it with drag and drop. Here you will have the property default fields and custom fields. You will also have the option to hide title and you will also have the option to set the number of columns. I will change it to two columns and from style I will go to spaces and sizes and add a value for border radius and from typography I will change the property title settings. I will change font family, font weight and for the content I will also change font family and font weight. I am done with the property details section as well. Now I will start adding elements for the second column. I will add property address. This is the widget. I will set to display one column. From the style section you will be able to set spaces and sizes. I will add a value for border radius. From typography I will change font settings. I will change font family, font weight. I will do the same. For the content I will change font family and font weight. You will also be able to change colors. Next I will add the features and amenities section. This is the widget that I will use. I will set it to display the details in two columns. I will make the same settings in style. I will add border radius value. For typography I will change the font family and the font weight. I will do the same for the content. Moving further for the next section I will add the video section. This is the one. I will make the same settings in the style section. I will add border radius value and in typography I will only have options to change property title settings. So I will change font family and font weight. I am done with the video section as well. And the last section in this column will be the virtual tour section. I will look for the widget. I will add it under the video section. I will go to style section and add a value for border radius. I will also change typography for the section title. I will change family font and font weight. I am done with setting the two columns. Next I will add the map section. I will look for the map widget. This is the one. I will add it as a separate section. You will have the option to set the map height. In style section you will be able to set space I will add a border radius value. In typography you will be able to change the section title settings. I will change font family and font weight. Next I will create a section with agent details. So I will add a new section with two columns. 
In the first column, I will add the agent card. I will look for the agent card. This is the widget. And in the second column, I will add the agent contact form. I will use the property page agent form version 2. And now I will go back to each column and make settings to make it look well. I will select the first column. Here I will change the column width. For the agent card, you will have the option to hide or show the card elements. You will be able to hide elements like phone, mobile, email, Skype, website or social. Also, you will be able to change the number of columns. Going to the second column for the agent form, you will also have options to hide or show some elements. I am done with the agent section as well. And now for the last section in the page, I will add the similar listing section for that I will use the similar listing widget. I will add it with drag and drop. For this widget, you will have the option to change the number of items that will be displayed. I will change to three. You will also have the option to set the number of items per row. I will also change it to three. And you will also have the option to change the card unit. You will have six types to choose from. I will leave type five. And now my custom template is done. I will save the changes made. And next I will show how to assign this custom template to a property. I will go to admin. You will have the option to assign this custom property template globally for all your properties or you will be able to add it only for some properties. I will show first the global settings. I will go to team options, design, and in property page settings, you will have the option to select the custom template that we just created and make it the default template for all your properties. If you want to add this template only for one property, you will need to go to properties, edit the property where you need to assign the custom template. You will need to scroll to appearance options. And here you will need to select the custom template that you just created. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.